Hello everyone, welcome to Menti's daily news analysis. Today is 3rd of July and we will start our day with a quote on environment. Saving our planet, lifting people out of poverty, advancing economic growth, these are one and the same fight. We are the first generation to feel the sting of climate change and we are the last generation that can do something about it. A various serious concern which you should adapt in your life. Now comes that general studies one social issues perspective. First is including disability in the National Family Health Survey will serve the government well. So the article is all about the recent decision taken by the Indian government to remove the disability specific quotient from the National Family Health Survey which has actually sparked a concern. And this analysis is a bit different from the other analysis because students have requested me on Instagram and Telegram that I should give some takeaways from the exam and which people are making notes and I hope these would be helpful for your upcoming exams. So I have included the points. I have summarized the articles in a very short and precise manner for you to have a better clarity on the topic. Now comes general studies to international relation important, the master plan and the slave. So first of all, we have to see what is a master plan. It is a plan of governance for urban local body and it has recently received extensive attention in national policy discussion. But students now, the master plan is a very outdated concept. Why? Because it lacks accommodative, modern sensibilities. That means modern solutions are not there. Second, it has limited potential. And there is a very good line which has been given, which can be quoted in your main answer is that, that approximately 65% of India's urban settlement lack master plan. Why? Due to delay notification by the state government. Now, for our exam perspective, G20 members are important. These are the list of G20 members and UPSC has already asked in 2020 a question on it. That which countries are the members of G20. Starting with the news analysis, next is General Studies 3 economy perspective. So, as we have seen in the last analysis that Pakistan has faced significant challenges for over 15 months. And what challenges? In terms of political, in terms of economic crisis, in terms of natural disaster. And now IMF has agreed to help. So for your exam perspective, establishment of IMF you should know. IMF reports which are taken out you should know. IMF, any financing tool like SDRs. What is a basket of SDR and which has a higher weightage in the SDR? You should know from your exam perspective. Now, next is General Studies 3 Economy, why the IMF has taken a view on the crypto market in Latin America has changed. So, what happened was that IMF issued a statement on the use of cryptocurrency in the Latin American and Caribbean market about the rising interest in the blockchain based central bank digital currency. And why Latin America is important? because the countries have experienced devaluation against the US dollar and to preserve their value of saving, some residents have explored converting the funds to US dollar and e Salvador as the first one to adopt the Bitcoin. And this is also have summarized for you all students in a very short 10 points. So as you can note it down that first, what is the IMF concern? Then what e Salvador has a concern? and why IMF has expressed concern about e Salvador's move and about the CBDCs also that what role it plays in the economy. Now next is General Studies 3 Science and Tech perspective that genome sequencing screening for babies unlock blueprint of health. So for first of all what is genome sequencing? It is a process of determining the complete DNA sequence of an organism's genome and why it is important because to know many genetic disease. And now we'll see what are applications of genome sequencing because the question will come on applications or what is genome sequencing. So for newborn diseases, we, we can uh, see from the genome sequencing, which we can predict, then drug trials, rare cancer types we can see, then family diseases, we can get an idea from the genome sequencing. Now next is India-China ramp up info on North Bank of Pangon Lake. So this is your place in news also today. So it is one of the highest altitude lake, Pangon Lake. And what some amazing facts are there that it is located at an altitude of 4350 meter above the sea level. And it is located in disputed territory. About 60% of the lake in terms of length lies in China. And then the eastern end of the Pangon also lies in the Tibet. The brackish water of this region has a very low microvegetation. 
so that means you won't find any aquatic life or fish except crustaceans let's say general studies three science and tech osmosis fluid transfer so first of all what is osmosis it is a movement of water molecule from a solution with high concentration of water molecule to a solution with low concentration of water molecule through a cell's partially permeable membrane now here what we have seen is see this is one type of movement is the osmosis where i have tell you that what osmosis is and then here example has been given for the osmosis now general studies 3 environment that the megalodon shark was one of the largest marine predator to have ever lived for 23 to 3.6 million years ago but now some research has found that these shark may have been warm blooded so this as it is statement can be framed which maintain a boil temperature that was about up to 7 degree celsius and today in the vocab section we have a word of the day that is ornery having a difficulty and contrary disposition and uh, the usage has been given the synonyms have been given and uh, students there is an announcement also today that if you want from our side that for upcoming mains you need mains practice question so please let us know through our telegram instagram page or you can comment down in the youtube section even so as if you want questions with the model answers we'll provide on our telegram channel for you to practice and be ready for mains 2023 upsc thank you for the analysis today and have a nice day thank you